Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last videos, we learned how we can install React Navigation in React Native with TypeScript. And we also learn how we can navigate from one screen to another screen like this way. And how we can send information from one screen to another we also learn in the previous videos. In this video, we are going to learn more functions available in React Navigation. So those functions are like replace, push, pop, pop to top, go back. Those functions we are going to learn. So in last videos, we learned that if we want to send data from one screen to another, we use navigate function like this. And we have a screen name and the message which we want to pass. See, so from the home screen, we go to the screen one. So I click here, go to screen one, then we have a screen one and with the screen one, we have these parameter. This is the data from home screen like this we have and we also have the name of the screen one, which we want to reach. So this is the navigate function. So in place of navigate function, we can also use push function like this. So we can use push. I save it. So push is also work like a navigate, like in a stack, we insert some new information that goes to top of the stack. So similarly, the push also push the screen one to the top of the stack. So I click go to screen one that will also open the screen one like we use this navigate screen. So you see that when I click on the go to screen one, we reach to screen one and with the help of push function, we reach to this. Now under the screen one, also we have a navigate here. So in place of navigate, we can also use again push or we can also use replace function. We have a replace also in case of replace just is it replace the screen on the top of that screen and push is insert a new screen. So I use replace here and click here. Then I will go to the screen two. You see we are on screen two and we push to the screen two. So with the help of replace also, we can go to the screen two. But one more thing is there in replace, but we cannot go to back by using replace. So I click here. And you see that we go to the home screen. So we are not going to the screen number second. You see this screen one from the screen two. when I use replace function. So I do not reach to the screen one. Why? Because screen one is replaced by the screen two. Now directly I go to the home screen. Remember that I am using here. Once again, I explain you from the home screen. I use push. So navigate and push is working like a similar way. So push means it will add this screen one to the stack top of the stack. Then we reach to this screen, uh, screen one. Then from the screen one, I use a replace. So in place of a screen one, I go to the screen two. So screen two will open in place of a screen one. That means when I go click on back button, then it would not reach to the screen one. It will go to the home screen. Similarly, we can see that I click go to a screen one. So here I am on the screen one. So from screen one, I click go to screen two. So screen two using a replace function, you see. So with this replace function, I reach to the screen two. You see, I am on a screen two. So on this screen two, if I click on back button, I will reach to the home screen, not a screen one because screen one is replaced by the screen two. So I click here. You see, I just reach to the home screen. The screen one is replaced. But in place of replace, if I use push function again, like this and save it and I run one again. That means I go to the screen one. Now from a screen one, I go to a screen two. So you see that now I am not using replace. I am using push or I can use navigate also. So if I click on go back, then it will go to the screen one. You see not onto the home screen. But when I use replace, so it replaced the screen one in place of a screen one. I just open a screen two So directly goes to the home screen. Now it go to the home screen. You see now I'm on home screen. So we understand the push navigate and replace. We have more function like I am on a screen two and in a screen two, you see that I'm not using any function right now. So I will show you that from the screen two, from the last screen, from this last screen, screen two, I can use more function also like pop function, pop to top function and go back function. Those I can use. Go back is just like this arrow function because this arrow is just working as a go back. It's reaching to the back screen.
so similarly i can use button also to go back i can use pop also to back go to the previous screen i can use pop to top for going to the home screen so these are so many functions available so like that i can use here for example i want to use button so i create button also so from screen one i take button you see this button i take here so i copy and i create button just after this i create button and i take in the import also i say button like this then for button i take uh, style also no style we don't have any style for button so in screen 2 i just uh, here we have go to screen you see so i change the name i say handle press so i create here function handle press so i say here const i say handle press equal to arrow function here in this arrow function i use a, a navigation so i create navigation object also this navigation i create here and here i say navigation dot i say go back remember that go back function i am using here and i just save this and i do formatting also save this now you see we have a go back function also go back button so in place of uh, screen 2 i say go back you see save this and we have go back here so i click on go back function so in place of arrow function i can click on go back you see i back to the screen 1 from screen 1 i can also click on arrow function it's just like a go back you like this so go back we have used so click on a screen 1 then you go to screen 2 so from screen 1 i go to screen 2 i click to this now you see i click again on go back function then it will go to the back screen so in place of go back we can use more function also so we have a pop function so i say pop remember that here i have to pass the parameter 1 that means i want to go to the screen number 1 it behave like a go back function if i pass a 1 parameter so i click here and go to screen 1 you see once again i go to screen 2 now if i pass here 2 go pop to 2 that means it will go to the home screen so i click here go back and it will go to the home screen you see so directly we reach to the home screen and we just jump over the screen 1 because we have pass here pop 2 like this pop 2 we can go to pop 3 pop 4 number of a screen we can reach so with the help of pop function we can jump to any particular uh, screen just pass here the navigation number if we pass one then go to the back screen if we pass two then go to the second back screen if we pass some more then we go to the screen as per our choice but we should be under the number of a screen now in place of this if suppose i don't want uh, i don't want to go back to the previous screen or the number of a screen previously i just jump about i want to reach to the home screen directly so i can say pop to top pop to top pop to top means it will directly send to the home screen so i click here and it will reach to the home screen directly you see so pop to top directly send to the home screen pop screen step by step we can go to the previous screen as per the number of screens are available then we have replace it will replace the existing screen on of that it will reach as i explain in the example now we have push push everybody know that with the help of push we insert a new screen in the stack and we have a navigate function just like a push we can navigate from one screen to another we can pass value also we can pass and we can navigate from one screen to another screen that i explain in this video and as well as in the previous video i think now you understand how to use uh, replace navigate pop pop to top and go back function in react navigation under the react native with the type scripts if you learn please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.